Fabi and today I want to talk about the pendulum dowsing. Okay, this is a tool that I work with. I love pendulum dowsing, uh, pendulum reading, and I want to show you how to properly use or the way I do it to use the pendulum. Okay, um, I had a few friends asking me how to use the pendulum in the best way. Okay. And one of the girls, they were trying to use the pendulum to contact the, the mother who has passed away, okay? He, she is deceased. So I told them not to do it, okay? When you use the pendulum reading, is your connection to your mentor, to your spiritual guide, to your higher self, okay? You should not be using the pendulum to try um, if you don't have the proper tools, I would say, and the proper knowledge to try and uh, contact people that are deceased, people that have disincarnated, okay? Uh, one of the rules that my mentor told me to use is that I never call someone that has passed away to talk to them. I only talk to them if they come true to me. So if I have a pendulum reading, for example, for someone, I use this board for pendulum reading. This board was especially made for this kind of things to open a portal to bring the energy of your higher self. So if, and if I bring a person, I will bring the energy of the person here using um, this this is like the antenna I would say but if you don't know if you don't don't have the knowledge if you don't have board like this and uh, don't try and use one to contact to bring energy from other person if you're using the pendulum only this is supposed to be used for your mentor okay for your for your own energy okay so this is a very important rule do not try to contact people that are deceased okay they need to come forward if they want to talk to you okay because most likely what is going to happen is that any energy that is not good energy that is surrounding you is probably trying will try to use the pendulum pretending it is your parent, your family, your friend that is deceased, okay? So just don't do this, okay? Um, I want to talk about a little bit of the history behind the pendulum, the dowsing, if you don't know this yet. So um, the dowsing started since the 16th century, okay? There are written stuff about using the pendulum, the dowsing, to find water, to find metals, uh, crystals under the earth, like ground water to do the wheel um, since the 16th century, as I said. So I think even Martin Luther um, had some kind of text about describing the using, uh, describing using dowsing to find metal in the 1500s, okay, in the early 1500s. So the way they used to do was with a forked twig. Okay, so it's like just a branch in a Y shape. So they would hold the two points of the, the twig, the, this forked branch. And the other part, um, it's where it would find the water or the metal. So they would hold the branch, like for example, the hazel tree branch. So they would hold the branch and uh, they would try and connect with the water and um, they would go in the ground in the field trying to find the water and when there was ground water behind it and uh, when there was ground water below the earth under the earth um, the twigs start uh, shaking okay so that's how they would find after that there was um, some studies about radiesthesia okay which is just the pendulum or these l-shaped forks uh, metal rods i would say um by it it was done by a catholic priest his name was alex timothy baudley i hope i <laughs> spell his name right but anyways he was french again it was in the 16th 
century, 18th century, I think this priest was, uh, and he used this. So the way you use this one is that if you want to measure any energy, if they are like this, it's okay. If they cross, um, it's bad energy. So you can actually measure even your chakras, okay? So if I measure my heart chakra, for example, it's, see, it's picking up and it's good. It's not crossed like this. I'm not, this is, um, goes round like, so that's why it moves, but I am not moving them, okay? I swear to God, I'm not moving them. So if I go to my third eye, for example, I think I should do this like in the other way around. Yeah, you see? So I am always harmonized because I harmonize myself every day. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to show you when it crosses. But uh, some people would check how the chakra is with this and use, if there is any imbalance, they would use like this magnetic. It, this is a, not a, a high strain magnetic, okay? This is, I think it's only 0.5 or something. Um, so they use this magnetic strength like you're supposed to use like one <laughs> in all your chakras, okay? And uh, with this, you are able to... With this, you are able to balance your chakra. I think bioresonance does something similar uh, without needing to have these magnets, okay? Uh, but there are people that could be using, like when they have a presentation, for example, they need, need to speak a lot or, uh, uh, you know, some uh, event that you have that you need concentration or you need to be harmonized, they check and then you could maybe just put in your brow or something and use it behind so you know that you are harmonized. It just helps the chakra to balance and to open up, okay, these magnets, but this is not a strong magnet, as I said, because if you get a strong magnet, it will um, unbalance your chakra, okay? So, uh, now about the pendulum, I'll just leave this here for a moment. About the pendulum, you can have like the wood pendulum, this is the, the one I prefer, or you can have like crystal pendulum. The reason I don't use crystal that much is because it absorbs uh, more energy than the wood, okay? The crystal, and a lot of people has this belief that the crystal needs to be cleansed, like with uh, water or uh, leave it in the sunlight or in the moonlight. So I just prefer not to use the crystal because I know that the wood wouldn't be getting that much energy and um, I have my own technique to clean this because again people this is all your mental power your intention and your beliefs so the way I use uh, to clean my pendulum is just like this and to me this is setting the intention that all bad energy now is removed okay so when you first get a pendulum you have to put the pendulum here in your hand and really connect to do a deep meditation go to the alpha wave if you can the alpha level uh, of your brain wave so you are in a relaxed mode and you connect you ground yourself and you ask the connection uh, with your mentor with your higher self to come to this pendulum right and then you have to do what we call a convention okay what is a convention is uh, letting your pendulum know what um, what movement means what okay so this is important because the pendulum can be going around a lot um, and you don't know what it means so you have to define the way I use the pendulum may not be the same way that you use the pendulum because of this convention so I have um, this that I give to people uh, that uh, goes to my workshop and things like this. So this is just a simple a way of doing the convention if you want. Okay, so this is a yes, this is a no, okay? So I will put here, this is the yes, this is the no. So you, after you put your energy to the pendulum, 
you get the pendulum and you hold it like this. If you are a beginner, allow the cord to be um, this size, I would say. If you have more experiences like I do, I only use like this size of the cord, okay? And do not let, uh, allow this to be hanging out, okay? Put this inside your head. So, now, I want the pendulum to know that this way is a yes and this way is a no, okay? So, I put the pendulum here and I force the first movement, okay? If you don't have the ability, my pendulum will do whatever I want it to do um, because it's already set. But you have to do the first and say, this is a yes, this is a no, okay? I am moving the pendulum. You can see that I am forcing it to go this way. Now, I will not move anymore my hand. Of course, we cannot be 100% steady. Um, there are some people that believe that because we cannot hold, like st have a steady hand, like 100%, the micro movements of your muscle is what is controlling the pendulum. I don't believe that, okay? Because I had many confirmations um, that this is, you know, just my higher self or, or the person connecting to me. So it's, it's really up to you what you believe. But I believe um, that we do get a connection with our mentors through the pendulum if you do it in the right. So this is a yes. I want now the pendulum to go. We know my hand is steady and it will automatically go. You see? Now, this is another way if you want. So, this side will be a no, this side will be a yes. Okay? So, again, force the movement first and say this is a no, this is yes if, it, if it's your first time. Now, for me, for example, pendulum, please do a no. You see, it's already spinning. Now, if I change, pendulum, do a yes, please. You see, it start. You have to allow some time uh, for it to change the um, the rotation or the movement. Okay, but it will do as you say. Okay. Now this is just for testing. You you want the pendulum to go this way, this way, this way, and so just to see if the pendulum is doing what you want it to do. Okay. So I hope you can see here. So. This is a straight, I just leave the pendulum here. Or you know what, I would do like this and now pendulum do the straight one, the other one. Now, now the other one please. And it starts doing it, you see? Now, just swing around, swing around, sorry. You see? Now cross please. Cross the other way around, please. You see? It obeys me. <laughs> so, this one is for you to check if um, two people has a um, spiritual connection, if they, are, they have any kind of uh, connection. Okay, so you put a name here, a name here, and again, this is a yes, this is a no. Or you can even use um, percentages, okay? So you ask, what is the percentage of me? Um, what is the spiritual connection that I have with my actual job? And then it will give like a, per a percentage, like 70% uh, of a spiritual connection, for example, okay? So... Another thing that is really important to know is, it's in the other cage here, just one second, is this. The questions you are going to ask with the pendulum needs to be really specific, okay? So, you can have yes, so if it cross this side, yes, if it goes this side is a no, but if it stops in the middle, here in this middle part here 
you have to ask the question again in more direct way or in a different way like more for a yes or a no but if it stops in the middle again it's because you are not authorized to know what you are questioning okay um we don't we are not allowed to know some things you know and we just have to understand that it's the best for us even though you really want to know um if your mentor stops in the middle of your pendulum it's because it's best for you not to know and just you know i i think the the main thing here for the pendulum guys is um the confusion the um, doubt that we have like was it really a yes am i doing right so all these kind of negative beliefs will make the answers go strange because as I said, I control the pendulum if I want to. Okay, so cross now, please. Swing. Uh, do like this straight. Yeah, you see? So when I am using the board, because I mainly use this with the board, what I do is I stop controlling. Okay, I just allow it to, the information to come. So it's like, it's like I am, I step it aside for a little bit and allow the pendulum to do its own thing okay so that's how i use the pendulum and uh in the radiesthesia it's a difficult name isn't it so you can use uh, what we call the graphics as well okay uh, i have them only in portuguese sorry about this but i'm sure you can google uh, and find a lot of uh, radiesthesia graphics, okay, to use. How do I use this? For example, um, let me get the nine circles. So this is only nine circles, okay? And this is for um, material protection. So if you want to protect your body, your car, your house, something material, you would write your name here write your address the address of your house or your car the reg of your car put it there and then you swing the pendulum putting the intention that your mentors your guardians will help you to protect okay the thing with this is that you don't know for how long you leave it there okay the, what you ask it and uh, you have to be a bit careful because there are few graphics that are really powerful. So for nine, the ninth circle, for example, it's fine. Just follow your intuition how many hours or days you need to leave your name or whatever you put in the middle. Okay, but for example, this one here. This one is to get rid of negative, um, negative energy. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know the name in English for this one because this word uh, is not the same word in English. So, but it's just a graphic to get rid of the bad energies. And this graphic, you are not supposed to use more than 40 minutes because if you use more than 40 minutes, your own energy will, you will get rid of your own energy as well, your vital energy. So, Again, be careful. If you don't know how to use, buy a book or something, study, okay? But don't go just using any graphics without the knowledge, okay? Maybe I would advise to use the nine circle one, that it's okay. Um, or this one, but not the other ones, okay? There are loads of them up in Google so again just be really careful now the most interest part of this video is because I want to measure using the pendulum and um, some food okay I have been uh, discussing with people uh, because I'm trying to not eat meat okay and this is not a judgment if you eat meat it's fine I don't care everybody do what they want to do okay I don't judge anyone and um but i want to show you here um in a scale of one to ten because i think that's the most 
easy example I could use uh, what the pendulum say it's best for your body, okay? The pendulum reads the energy of the thing, like the everybody has an aura and an electromagnetic field. So I think what I am going to do here is like the pendulum will read the vitality, the energy of whatever food I put in there and from 1 to 10 it will say how good it's for your body, okay? So I need to adjust here my table, so one second. Hello, so this is my new setup, okay? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with camera and those things, but I hope you can see this right. So this is where I'm going to put the food, okay? And I made a scale, if you see here, from 1 to 10. Okay, so I will be going around with the pendulum like this and when the pendulum cross like this is the number that we want. That represents the vitality of the food for your body. So if it's 10, it's great for your body. If it's 1, it's not really good for your body. Okay, so I will start, I put some uh, film plastic here just so it doesn't get wet because a majority of the food I brought are frozen food. Okay. So water, simply water. So let's see. It started to do like this, you see? And this is the 10. So water is great for your body. Perfect. Now, this is a cola drink. Okay, I'm not giving out the brand, but you know. So let's go. Oh, it's already starting to move. Two. Number two. Not really good for your body. There's no vitality in this, okay? Leave it aside, sorry. An apple. Let's see. started to move okay so we are between seven and eight okay great a lemon again started to move so between seven and eight as well. So it's good for your body, very healthy. Okay, so a broccoli. This is between six and seven, okay? Chicken nuggets. This is four. Chicken nuggets is four. Not so good. An egg. Here again, around eight. This is more for the eight. Yes, yeah, so eggs and eight. Sausage. Sorry, I, I moved. Uh, I didn't want to move. Sorry, I'll start again. Tree. I thought I had moved, but it, it, it is actually tree. So, tree, sausage is tree. Fish finger. Now it's a six. 
Fish finger is a six. And my last one, pork meat. Don't mind the date here because it's frozen, okay? It's a five. So that's just let me adjust this again. So this was our experiment here. Um, again, I don't judge whatever you want to eat. It's up to you. I don't eat more uh, red meat because you could see here how the meat is not really good for your body, like in the vitality of the pendulum reading, okay? So um, what I feel is that it makes more difficult for me to connect with my higher self, with my mentors, if I eat meat, especially red meat, okay? Now, I am not a vegetarian yet, I still eat fish, but Again, I'm just going uh, with what I feel. I feel that it's more difficult for me to connect um, if I eat meat because it's denser energy. It has a denser energy, okay? If I eat only vegetables or fruit or whatever, you saw here in the scale that it was a higher vitality. So it's it, it, it makes my energy to be lighter, okay? So I can connect. Again, I'm not judging, I'm not even um, talking about the nutrients or anything. I'm not a, a specialized person to talk about this, okay? I'm just talking about how I perceive the energy of the foods and how I feel them in my body energy, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this video and that's it. Goodbye.